we are sad but happy. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters. As always, fearing Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. As I said before, we are sad but happy. Very sad but very happy. Right? As you know, we're in the year 2021. The year of hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai. Which is named by our head apostle, our elder apostle Tahar. And we have to hasten it the day. We have to hasten Yahushai, Yahushai's return. Because we are sad. On this side, we are sad, but we have hope and we know that we are happy, yeah? So in this kingdom, more doesn't necessarily mean happy, and less necessary means sad. Regardless of having more or less and not having Yahweh Sham Yahushai, in the midst of our lives, right? You have nothing. You have already lost the battle. You've already lost. No matter how you're rich and you don't have Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, no matter how you're poor and you do not have Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, that's just a done deal. Yeah. So I'd like to start off with the first scripture in Revelations three verse seventeen. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked we will always be miserable yeah I've never met a, a miserable happy man before never as long as you are living in this present rulership this evil kingdom You'll never be happy. But there's only one way out. Is to repent and serve our power, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And you'll become happy because we are just, we are, be, we are prisoners of hope. And that is our hope, the salvation. Our hope is that new kingdom, yeah, to come. And it would come as the Lord our power said, if we serve him, right, he will give us this kingdom that he had promised. And our power never lies, yeah? So that was the first one. Um, Ecclesiasticus. Oh boy. Ecclesiasticus 21, verse. 18 to uh, let me stop at 20 
as in a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, and the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. So you have to be wise. You have to be wise on this side. Being unwise is following the foolishness of this world, following other gods, not worshipping Yahweh Basham Yahshai. That is being unwise. Yeah, without sense. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand a fool lifted up his voice with laughter but a wise man right the opposite right there's always an opposite to good the opposite of good is bad yeah the opposite of unwise is being wise but a wise man doth scarce scarce smile a little and as you know from you coming to this truth and serving our power your eyes begin to open up wider and wider and you begin to learn more who the devil is and what they're doing to you day by day and it makes you very unhappy right and through wisdom you'll gain that understanding but if you're unwise you'll never gain that understanding yeah although we're saying this and it sounds like simple basic arithmetic it could be a simple one plus one if you're not going to get it you're just not going to get it You have very smart, educated, intelligent people on this earth. And it's not to do with intelligence. It depends on what our Lord has given unto you, what he has blessed you with. So if he's blessed you to let you know who you are, he has woken up to the truth, right? And you take it serious. And you want to seek him. Ten times more. A hundred times more. A thousand times more. You become more and more wise. And you know the wiser you become. Is the more unhappy you, you are. In this kingdom. This present wicked evil rulership. So we scarcely smile. Even though we smile at times, our heart is still heavy. So when you see brothers smiling and laughing, believe you me, and you know already, I don't have to point it out. I don't have to spill it out. I don't have to write it down. You know what I mean, brothers and sisters. To smile on this side is not real happiness. It's not real joy. Yeah. I'm going back to Revela I'm going back to Revelations chapter uh, did I, which one did I read first? Uh, Revelations 21 did I say 21 oh so lucky I, I may have written it down here but I got uh, three Revelations 21 now right Revelations 21 please excuse me yeah? Revelations 21 verse um, 4 and it says here that and Yahweh 
shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death that's on this side right no more death because we're feeling all this side is all this place is, is filled with with sorrow negativity unhappiness yeah sadness pain and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor cry nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away all right Let me read five. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write for these words are true and faithful. Very true and faithful. So what our power promises us. All right, about the new kingdom to come with no more pain no more tears no more sorrow everlasting joy everlasting tranquility yeah whatever our power has promised us those words these words that he had spoken will be true and faithful is not something to be happy about although we are sad although we are sad but we are happy and the last one i want to bring here is in john 31 So like here, John 16, 31 to 33. And he says, Yahushai HaMashiach answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own and shall leave me alone and yet i am not alone because the father is with me these things i have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace so remember what i said earlier that no matter how you are rich, no matter how you are poor, no matter how you are sad or happy. If you're serving Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, He will give you peace. And that is the peace we need now the peace of mind, something to hold on to, something to grab on to something to fight for because although we are sad that fighting for that promise is making us happy it is making us happy so i'll say it again now these things i have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace the water Yahweh Basham Yashai in the world ye shall have in the world ye shall have tribulation. Right? So living here, being on this side, on the left hand side, 
We're living on this wicked side. Right? We are going to have tribulation. But be of good cheer. That's what I'm saying. So although, that's what the scripture is saying. That although we are going through, he's given us a peace of mind through the tribulation, right? But be of good cheer. Because, hear what he said now, I have overcome the world. And that's what we have to do. We have to overcome what we're going through. This sadness. If Yahweh Shai could overcome the sadness in this world through his spirit and his power, we could also overcome this world, you know? So I say one more time. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. We have to be with Yahweh Hashem Yashai. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Right? You know, when we are put down, as I was paraphrasing, although we've been put down to a lower state, yes, we must take it cheerfully. Take it cheerfully. I have overcome the world. So, you know, we are going through it. We are going through the pain. We're going through the suffering. We're going through the tribulation. But there's a way out. There is a way out. And you know the way. You know the way out is to repent. Right? And the quicker, the quicker we repent is the quicker Right, we'll get out of this place. Alright? Not everybody's going to repent. The two the two thirds are not going to repent. We're dealing with our people here, right? The chosen people. And they're still not going to repent. But like I said, we need to pray to get out of this place, yeah? Because the year 2021, hasten unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Tawada, I hope this was edifying. Love to you, brothers and sisters. Shalom.